If, when you've sampled, you find out that your yard actually isn't doing that well and doesn't seem to have a bee community that's, that's vibrant, um, there are a number of different things you can do. The first one is look at what you're planting. It would be great to plant a series of flowers that, that begin flowering in the spring and go all the way into the fall, that whole time that bees are flying. Because by doing that, you, you, you provide resources for the whole community of bees that's out there. A second thing you can do is take a look around your yard. You may know where some bee nests are and you want to sort of set those areas aside, but if you've mulched absolutely everything in your yard, there's nowhere left for ground nesting bees to, to nest. So you want to leave some areas of bare ground for them to nest in. A lot of times um, they like very silty soil or loose soil. So if you have a choice, leave, leave an area that's sort of a sandy, silty soil so that it, it, it's easy soil for bees to dig down in. Probably the biggest thing that you can do is make sure you're not using pesticides or pesticides that have a negative effect on your bee community. There are some areas where you may need to use pesticides, um, but be thoughtful about the timing of, of your pesticide use and whether or not you're spraying on flowers, which bees are going to be going to. So I think even just taking those three simple steps can do a lot for improving the bee community in your yard.